welcome back to another video this is a short video so i am reviewing this peel off base um, by barry m i've got this because um i want because i want to put more content on my channel i don't have any clients because obviously covid and i'm sick and tired of using the practice hands so I thought well if I can get this peel off base and use my own hands and then I can just pop them off and you know that's a set done and another video done so I'm, I'm applying this base coat and it goes on like a milky white and then when it's dry it's like a, a clear so then I'm going to apply tips which I didn't show because I was completely out of shot. I didn't have my um, iPad at the time so so I've applied my tips and I've cut them down I didn't want them long and here I'm just putting base coat on what I didn't realize or I should I say I forgot was um, I forgot to file off the tips as gel doesn't like to stick to shine um, but I did um, do all my prep I just didn't have it because like I said I was completely out of shot so I've tried to salvage as much of this video as I could so here again I am using the mood changing um, flex gel from Jello and this is a really pretty colour as well same routine as before you know getting nice and neat at the cuticles keeping that product behind my brush tucking it into the side walls and the cuticles making sure I'm keeping it away from my skin The, way, the more you keep the shape and the smoother you have the nail the less filing it's gonna be to make it look beautiful as you will see in a minute um, on this nail I wasn't sure what I was doing and you'll see that there is no apex which you will see right now. It's flat as a pancake. Don't worry, I do apply an apex. I just wanted to cure that first and then I apply my apex bead. And that's just because I didn't, I didn't know what I was doing, what design I was doing. I didn't know if I was just going to lay the glitter down and then and create my apex in the strength with the clear on top I just I didn't know so yeah to do my pinky um, this is the only other nail I show you because the others are more or less the same until I come to whatever I'm going to do on them um, yeah um, they're pretty much basic 
Um, I only add a little bit of glitter to them. So there's no point in me showing you exactly the same process on the other two nails when I've just showed you the process on these two nails. So once I've done the pinky, next shot you will see will be me getting ready to apply my glitter. This will just allow the glitter to stick to it. Like I said, I was really unsure what I wanted. I just found these hearts and so I'll just put these down. So I do this little swooshy line on this hand, uh, sorry, this finger, and then on my pointer finger, I will do the hearts all the way down. Now, on the pointer finger, um, as you can see. There's a lot of shadowing on it, which that's telling me that there's not enough product um, at my strength area. Um, and cuticle is a bit messy. I'm not too fussed because these were are just these were more about trialing the peel off base. So I'm not keeping them on or anything like that. It's just I want to see how easy it was to take them off. So,
going to do, once I've done it, I'll put some building a bottle over um, rather than, I think I'll do it anyway, rather than top gold, I think, yeah, I'll put the building a bottle because obviously it's a thick of glitter and so yeah, I'll use the building a bottle. Um, then I top coat and then you'll see the finished product. I did a bit of bling. Yeah, quite nice. And then you'll see me peel them off. So we've done all that just to peel them off. Um, so the peel off base coat worked brilliantly, apart from where the nail glue had stuck to my skin. Um, and in them places it was a little bit harder to get off but it, you know gen gentle uh, persuasion and it popped off but yeah you know so it really you know it, it works on poly gel i haven't tried it with acrylic yet but i will give that a whirl so yeah no damage to my nails so guys there you go thanks for watching and i will see you in my next one and um, i hope you like the next one bye <laughs>